Well, we're going to be faced with another day of some sweltering heat and humidity highs in the mid 90s for Thursday and Friday and make it back into the upper 90s. By the time we reach Saturday, that feels like near 100 degrees could even exceed that with close to record heat by the time we reach the start of the week. And now most areas were quieting down, but still quite humid. A few isolated storms that are drifting north in Hillsdale County up there toward Route 12, just west of Hillsdale. Quiet conditions here in the Toledo Metro we really got pummeled, though, with some heavier rain earlier this afternoon and evening. Much that in the southwestern Lucas County out there toward White House, Waterville, up toward Holland and Springfield Township. Indications of about two to three inches of rain that was reported. Did get some wind damage, a likely microburst downing several trees, one toppled onto a house. And how about this? Some damage reported out toward Twin Acres Campground. This in White House as well. A microburst, strong winds from a thunderstorm, very easily could produce damage like this, toppling trees and tree limbs. Very likely what we saw on radar and indications of the damage and some power outages that it did do. Temperature wise now back here. If uh, you were without power at any point today, you felt it in the heat and humidity mid to upper 70s right now and humidity levels really have trended upward as uh, we've gone through today to downright humid to tropical. So towards the top end of what it feels like as far as the humidity. Now we did log another 90 degree day. We stand at seven for the season, our fourth day in a row, and we're going to wrap off several more 90 degree days. So what you could do with this summer heat plan on it continuing through Saturday and even into Sunday. Some highs into the 90s. Mid 90s could be expected tomorrow and Friday upper 90s on Saturday and that feels like close to 100 degrees. And if you've been able to do it, seek the shade or air conditioning, indoor plants and extra hydration. I recommend just pouring that cold glass of water first thing in the morning and getting some of those ounces in very early. Could consider headed to the pool tomorrow if you're going to do it. I want you to do it earlier before 3 p.m. That chance of storms will be developing after 3 p.m. on a hot and humid afternoon. Forecast is going to be 94 degrees. That feels like closer to 100. Even though we're going to fall short of the record high tomorrow at 98, it still will feel like every bit of 100 degrees. Into the afternoon tomorrow, there's highs right around the mid 90s. A few indications, a couple areas Thursday and Friday could get closer to the upper 90s off to the south and to the west, but another hot day on Friday. Friday will be expected. Now the rest of tonight storm chances diminishing significantly, especially as we go through midnight. We're gonna have a dry start to your morning. Isolated storm risk will be developing again after 3 p.m. similar to what we saw for today. A few isolated storms fading away tonight, still staying muggy. 74 degrees for the overnight low, 94 on Thursday. It will be another 90 degree day with scattered storms after 3 p.m. Daily chances of those storms Friday again on Saturday, mid to upper 90s and our alert days will come to an end. Once we get to Sunday, lower 90s, more typical summertime heat, few storms on Sunday and next week we do dip back into the 80s Monday, a brief pop back toward 90 on Tuesday and Wednesday and then mid to upper 80s. The rest of that 10 day forecast takes us back a little closer to average as we get into the second half of June.